The joke was on me a while back when I interviewed Melbourne's Phoebe twins, Stephen and Matthew, for National 9 News. Matty's the oldest, just by 14 minutes. I think I kicked him out while I was in the womb. There's a... <laughs> Young Stephen was due to play his 100th game and with the help of his identical brother, the story came up a treat. Until I picked up the paper the next morning, harder to find the boys had switched identities on me. Now, don't get me wrong. I did see the funny side of it, but I also got the last laugh. The Sydney Swans gave the Demons a walloping that weekend. A few weeks later, the culprit behind the scam confessed it was none other than Phoebe's teammate, Alan Jakovic. Well, Lou, when uh, you came along and asked me would they be interested in doing an in interview, I thought uh, it was a golden opportunity to sort of... Uh, uh, sling one back at you so to speak and uh, I was sort of the one that came up with the idea that the Phoebe twins would uh, reverse roles and of course being twin brothers uh, they could fool a lot of people and uh, I thought well if they, they could fool the best of them uh, they'd be doing all right. They did it very well didn't they? Yeah they staged it very well I thought that uh, even when Stephen uh, had his girlfriend turn up of course Stephen was Matthew and vice versa uh, they had to swap girlfriends for the night, so I, I don't know how long that went for. I, I hope it was only for the one night. Jakovic likes nothing better than to beat Collingwood. Well, maybe beating his brother's side, the Eagles. Uh, back in 91, we had a little bit of a slinging match, and I think a lot of people got the idea that we didn't really get along and didn't really, really relate to one another, but uh, that's not the case, and uh, we're brothers, and uh, that's about it. Well, that's the reason why you went up when you, I think you beat him for the ball uh, and kicked a goal and you went back and kissed him. Was that having a go at him? No, I wasn't having a go at him. I think that uh, Glenn was, uh, well, I know he was on the mark at the time and uh, it was just like uh, we had shut off professionally and Glenn had uh, sort of said something that uh, he might, something silly that he might have said in the backyard going back 10 years ago and uh, I think that's what sort of set the, the, the scene and once the ball, I thought all they had to do was put it through the middle and it was a long kick and uh, uh, it just got home and once it did I thought I'll just smack one on his, on, his, uh, on his cheek. Well, that's all for now. But before we go, Sam and I will leave you with a...